Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to solve simple equations. So let's get into it. First thing we wanna talk about are a couple of vocabulary words. So we look at the screen, we have um, equation, solution, inverse operation. So these, these are three vocabulary words that are very important for us. So let's start off with what an equation is. It just has a statement that two expressions are equal. So that tells us, okay, now what is an expression? Well, an expression is like something that we see right here in plus three, right? So we're gonna have two expressions that are set equal to each other, so we call it an equation, okay? Now the solution is our answer. So solution is just another name for answer. Solution is a value that makes the equation true. So a lot of times we're gonna be solving for the variable. So in example one, we're gonna figure out what, what number is, is x equal to? What number, for example, two is n equal to? To achieve this, we're gonna use inverse operations. So inverse is kind of like the word opposite, um, and operations in math are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So inverse operations are just two operations that undo each other. So we'll look at a couple examples here. And what I like to ask myself is, what is happening to x? And whatever is happening to x, we just want to undo that. So we look at example one. We see x minus 3 equals negative 5. So what's happening to x? Well, um, x is having 3 subtracted from it. So we need to add 3 so that x is isolated or x is by itself on one side of the equal sign. Now an equation is like a, a balance or like a scale, right? We need to keep it balanced. We can't just go adding or subtracting, multiplying or dividing things to whenever we want. We have to keep the equation balanced. So if I add something to one side, we also have to add it to the other. Okay, so now over here, our negative three and positive three will cancel and we're left with x equals and we just simply do negative five plus three and we get negative two. So our solution is x equals negative two. So we can check that by plugging in negative two right here for x and we ask ourselves negative two minus three, is that equal to negative five? Yes, it is, so we know we're good. All right, example two, um, what's happening to n? Three is being added to it. So what's the opposite of addition? Subtraction, whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. Three and negative three cancel. We get n equals, and we do negative 7 minus 3, so negative 10. Okay, so those first two examples, we worked with addition and subtraction as inverse operations. And now we'll look at multiplication and division. So example 3, we have y divided by 6 equals negative 3. So what's happening to y? It's being divided by 6. What's the opposite of divide by 6? Multiply by 6. Whatever we do to one side, we want to do to the other. Okay. So over here, we, this would turn out to be 6y divided by 6, or in other words, those 6s would cancel out, or they would become 1y. So we get y equals, and negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. So our solution is negative 18. And we can substitute that back in, remember to check. So negative 18 divided by 6 is in fact negative 3, so we're good. Last example, 5x equals 30. So when we have a number and a variable next to each other, that implies multiplication is happening. So what's happening to x? It's being multiplied by 5. To undo that, we divide by 5, and we have to do that to both sides. These 5s will become 1, so 1x, which is just x, and 30 divided by 5 is 6. So if we check that, 5 times 6 equals 30. And that's how you solve simple equations.